Amir Khan, thanks for joining us on Sun TV. It's your big debut in America on May the 15th That's against right, Paulie yeah. Malinaji. How are you feeling? Yeah, you know, I'm feeling all right, man. I just, um, I'll start with him on the table and, you know, he seemed very disrespectful and it's just one of them things, you know, if, yeah, I'm confident. Every fight I'm confident. I'm going to go in there and do my best. Uh, I've got a great following uh, in the UK and I want to build that uh, following in the US. The fights in the Madison Square Garden is the mecca of boxing. Uh, May 15. Coming May 15th, man, you know, I can't wait to get in the ring and fight this guy. It's going to be a tough fight, but, you know, that's boxing for you. Watching Paulie while you're talking about the Salita fight, he had a big, massive grin on his face. Did you find that disrespectful? And also, why do you think he wasn't impressed with the fight? Yeah, he's scared, that's what it is. I think when, when a guy disrespects you and pulls faces and stuff like that, I think he's just disrespectful. I respect every opponent, and I think good, all good fighters respect opponents, but when you get idiots like Paulie, you know, you just you let it be. End of the day, if he can say what he wants because he, come in May 15, he's going to be getting knocked out like Salita did. Obviously, you're boxing in Madison Square Garden. How, how much of an achievement is that for you so soon in your career? Oh, yeah, it's, it's a big achievement for me, you know, uh, the mecca of boxing. Uh, I'm only 23, fighting in, fighting in the US. I want to build my name up there. I want to do it young, and I am doing it young. What do you think about the critics that perhaps are saying you've left your fans behind by going to America and looking to establish yourself? Oh, not at all, not at all, man. You know what? Everyone's dream is to fight in America, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to America and have my debut down there, and then I'm going to come back and bring all the massive fights to the UK, you know, and then, you know, we'll take it from there. I want to bring the big fights to the UK, and for me to do that is to fight in the US first. You said you want to be Golden Boy's best fighter out there. Do you definitely think that's a possibility? Oh, definitely, man. I want to be, you know, it's like with Frank, I was the best fighter Frank has, Frank has had for a long, long time. I want, to be, I want to do the same for Golden Boy, you know, and, um, yeah, man, you know, I've got a great team. Golden Boy had some great fighters. It's going to be hard to do that, but, you know, that's what... That's what I love. I love a challenge in this game. Just finally, you've been linked before with Ricky Hatton in the past. Ricky might be shelving his comeback plans. What do you think about that? I think Ricky should just retire, to be honest with you. I don't think he should come back. Uh, he's had a great career. He's getting old and stuff. And I think he just should chill out, relax, I think.